Hi, I'm Mike, founder of GoodBed.com. One of the questions we get a lot on our website is, how do I know when it's time to get a new mattress uh, or to replace my existing mattress? Um, we wanted to make sure we provided people with a really clear answer on this because we also think there's a lot of misinformation out there, some of which is being promulgated by the mattress industry in an effort to get you to buy more mattresses. But before we get into the good reasons to buy a new mattress, let's talk about some reasons that are not good reasons to buy a new mattress that you'll hear a lot. For example, replace it every eight years, or replace it every 10 years, or every five to seven years. The reality is, it doesn't matter how many years old your mattress is. As long as it continues to provide you with the things you need from your mattress, you don't need to replace it. Likewise, it doesn't matter whether your mattress is still under warranty. Uh, whether your mattress expired, its warranty expired after 10 years and now it's been 12, that doesn't matter. The mattress, it's not like a, an expired date on your mattress. Your mattress, as long as it is still meeting your requirements, you do not need to replace it. Likewise, never let someone scare you into the idea that your mattress doubles in weight every so often due to dust mites or other things accumulating in it. That is ridiculous, a ridiculous thing that has been uh, scientifically disproven a million times over. You should never let that scare you into buying a new mattress. So those are things that should never factor into your decision. Now, now we'll talk about some things that should factor into your decision. But really there's some very clear signs that you should be looking for to know when it's time to replace your mattress. Um, the main thing is we, if your mattress is no longer providing you with uh, proper back support or pressure relief. Those are the two things that everybody absolutely needs to get from their mattress. The way you know generally if your mattress isn't providing you with proper back support is you'll often wake up with back pain in the morning. Uh, the reason you wake up with back pain is because when your spine is not held in a proper neutral position during your sleep, what happens is the teeny tiny little muscles around your spine are having to work overtime all through the night to try to hold your spine in a proper neutral position since your mattress isn't doing it for you. So they're having to work while you're resting and when you wake up in the morning, they generally let you know how unhappy they were about that. Pressure relief uh, is another common thing to where a mattress just loses its capabilities over time. And the way you'll know this is um, most acutely if you are waking up with um, loss of circulation in your arm, for example, or, or pain in, let's say, your shoulders or your hips, particularly after sleeping on your side. So you might feel either the pain or you might feel the loss of circulation either in your arms or your legs. In any of those situations, what it means is that your mattress is not providing adequate pressure relief. So basically, circulation's being cut off, capillaries aren't getting proper blood flow, that's resulting in pain or loss of circulation or both. Um, this is a common thing as foams break down or other padding layers break down over time, your mattress's pressure relieving capabilities are reduced. A more subtle sign of the same thing would be if you find yourself tossing and turning a lot. Um, you may not be aware of what's causing that, but in a lot of cases, it is inadequate pressure relief. It's actually that your body, while you're sleeping, is starting to detect uh, a little bit of pain or loss of circulation, and as a result, it's changing positions without you even being conscious of it. Um, and you may just simply be conscious of the vague notion that you're tossing and turning. Another really valid reason why you might need a new mattress is if you just unfortunately didn't choose the right one when you chose your current mattress. You might realize this, um, for example, if you've always had issues with back support or pressure relief on that mattress. Um, or it might just be that it doesn't meet your preferences. Uh, you've always found it to be too soft or too hard or, or you prefer to sleep more in it or more on it or you like or dislike the amount of memory feel that it has or, or what have you. Um, or maybe it just doesn't meet certain needs of yours that, you, uh, that are important to you. Um, like for example, edge support. Um, so there's a lot of cases where you maybe just felt, feel like it's not worn out yet, but it doesn't meet my needs nonetheless. That's still a good reason to get a new mattress. Another good reason to get a new mattress is if you are looking to upgrade to some of the newer features that are out. Maybe, for example, you have a memory foam mattress and you love memory feel, 
but you do feel like it sleeps a little too hot. Well, they've come out with some new innovations in memory foam that do help memory foam sleep a little cooler. Um, maybe, uh, for example, you really, you and your partner have very different sleep needs and you just really want a mattress where you can have what you want and need and they can have what they want and need. And that's possible now and maybe that wasn't uh, something you were aware of when you were buying your current mattress. Uh, maybe you've become pretty concerned about chemicals or the use of natural materials in the products that you use. Um, well, you can now get mattresses that um, to varying degrees um, either minimize the number of chemicals that they use or maximize the amount of uh, natural materials that they use. So there, this again, to the extent that your uh, criteria has changed or to the extent that the available set of products has changed to better meet your criteria, that is also a valid reason to get a new mattress. The last category of, of uh, reasons to get your new mattress is really kind of what I call the obvious bucket. It's, you know, this mattress is damaged, it's got bed bugs, it smells, it's making loud squeaky noises, um, or, or any number of those types of things, and obviously you need a new mattress. Um, likewise, you may need a different size. Well, obviously you can't make a mattress bigger, so you need to change uh, to a new mattress to get the size that you need. Um, or maybe you're looking for a fresh start for whatever reason, uh, new home, new marriage, new what have you. Those again are also valid reasons that I would put in the obvious category of when to get a new mattress. So we hope this was helpful and, uh, and that it helps you sleep well.